morning, good morning. I bought this paper probably around Thanksgiving. It's from Daiso by way of Amazon, <laughs> but it's shinier than tissue paper. It has a shiny side and a matte side. And Robin McClendon, who I like her work, even though it's minimalist and I'm not what you would classify as a minimalist. Oh, where are my watercolors? I can use these, I guess. But I'm going to try to see what watercolor does on here. So let's just see. Okay, so far it goes right through. Huh. I wonder if I should use the other side. Probably going to do the same thing. Yes. Well, I'm going to keep going, but I might have... There's somebody across the way. Oh, I hope they don't see me over here talking to myself. I can't tell where they're from. That, I think that house is for sale unless somebody just bought it. what you do. You spy on your neighbors. It's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. Today's going to be 70, but very humid and rainy. This is an experiment. I'm running out of, I brought some more paper from home, leftovers and scraps and stuff. And um, um, huh, kind of is like pulling fiber. Oh, yeah, it rips real easy. It pulls fibers out of the paper if you get too much water on it. But I'm just dropping water on it. And dropping color into it and then I'll see what it does when it dries. I, I did bring some more scraps with me. Have an endless supply of scraps. And I'm just doing circles and being very gentle because it's ripping the paper. So it's not tough paper. I did bring some tissue paper from home too to experiment with. But I'm running out of background color. Big pieces. If this works, I might make some more. We'll see. So far, the green does the best. And these are nature colors. This is the, as the Prima Essence palette. All right, I'm just gonna let that dry and see what happens. Woo! That's pretty. All right, while that's drawing, I think I'm going to go ahead and fast forward because um, it takes me a few minutes to make these. Ooh, that envelope right there is children's construction paper, and I saw somebody on YouTube doing jelly plates on construction paper where there's already a background color. 
jeans. So simple, but jeans. So I did bring another envelope of scraps from home. And I think this envelope turned out to be a lot of proper ephemera that I bought off of Etsy somewhere. Um, and <clears throat> so I need to try to mix in proper with my junk. Maybe not, maybe so, I don't know. So that it kind of doesn't all start looking the same, in my opinion. Um, and I love just, you know, creating this and a story emerges and, or a tiny story, just a little one sentence tiny story. And I love having fun with that. Um, this one is going to be kind of obvious, but it's okay. Um, so yeah. Fun times. I don't know if I told you, my husband got his vaccine yesterday. He did what you're not supposed to do, which he's quite fond of that process. Um, but he gets away with it. I could not get away with it. He does. He went to a location that they were uh, giving out the vaccine pretty late in the afternoon. Well, it was after lunch, I guess. It was after lunch. Um, and just showed up. No appointment, no nothing. And he said there was nobody there waiting in line. And they still had some vaccines left from their weekend supply. All right, um, I put on here, it's little Johnny's turn to feed the cows. And um, he got his vaccine. Now, I've heard mixed emotions about if you've had COVID, you need to wait 90 days. I mean, we've heard all kinds of misinformation, not misinformation, conflicting information. He said he was going for it. He's very impatient. He wants everything fixed right now in his life, always. Always. We fix everything right now. And him not having his vaccine, I don't know which, I forgot to ask him which one he got. Um, if he got the Moderna one or the Pfizer, which are the only two in the United States so far. I think the Johnson & Johnson one is coming quickly, but it's not here yet. But of course, this was the weekend supply um, that they just got yesterday morning of the vaccines, and they were almost out. He called his brother, and they went down there, which it's probably about a 35-minute drive. By the time they got there, they were they were already out. But they were able to make an appointment, and they're going back. And then somebody else went, I heard, he heard and told me, somebody else went to, I think, the hospital where I was yesterday and walked right in and did not have a problem. So it just is bizarre. I mean, it's still piecemealing what was left over from the Trump administration and um, hopefully now that we have somebody with some brains or some compassion that cares about people like more than that, um, the states will start having a universal plan and the vaccines can start going a little bit faster um, or at least organized. Who knows? Who knows? It's just so crazy but I, I think as soon as I'm able my age group comes up I'm going to go do it um, I don't know there's just so many strains showing up now that I'm afraid because I, I keep hearing if you had a light case you could get it again I don't know Maximus presents present day Rue St. Jock was the main paved street linking the Seine River to the Forum on top of St. Genevieve Hill. I think that's from Rome. I don't know, but that's begging to go in a journal somewhere. Um, so these are just scraps, 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 and ephemera, proper ephemera. Um, and the same method in having a ball, just having a ball. This does not get monotonous for me. I think because I know at the end there's going to be a story. Um, what did I put here? Dim Dandy caught on the way to his studio but I need to put something in there about the penguin so I might go back and add something to that one who knows anyhow here is my watercolor it's almost dry we'll see this is very thin paper thanks for watching see you all tomorrow